O Welcome back to Rosie's Kitchen Cooking. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make some fried shrimp and that's going to be using our mini fryer. Um, thanks to my friend Kingdom Fitness, he went ahead, you can go ahead and follow him on social media um, and I'll put the link in uh, the description box. But this is a cute, you know, mini fryer, deep fryer. And I got inspired by watching Supercent on Instagram. So, I'm going to create a tutorial on how to recreate that. So, of course, we have our fryer. We have the New Orleans style fish fry um, breading mix. And I'm going to clean my shrimp first and let it soak a little. Um, I usually clean any meat that I have as much as possible. You know, just go ahead and kill germs. I have my lime, um, my knife, yellow mustard, canola oil. I have my bowl that I'm going to use as well. And I have fresh shrimp. Now, I got this shrimp from Publix. Um, I usually like to get my meat from Publix. And if the money is running a little low, I'll go to Walmart <laughs> and get it. But this shrimp, this is fresh shrimp that I got from Publix. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to make some fried shrimp. Okay, so I have my shrimp in the sink in a bowl. And I have my second bowl here. So... I like to, I'm going to take these tails off. So I like to, you know, lightly take the tail off. And I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, that extra like, I don't know if it's, if it's the vein or whatever it is. But I like to, I like to take it out, check it out to see if there is any. And I just... Put it in the bag, that's why I prepare it. You know, just check it out. And also, the lime I'm gonna be using will be, you know, it'll be able to soak up the lime. So I like to take the tail off. I guess that is people's preference, but I'm just gonna repeat. And just continue until it's done. Check the back to make sure, you know, there's nothing back there. Okay, so as I'm going along, I went ahead and found a shrimp to explain to you what needs to be taken out of the back. And it'll be this, you know, black stuff. <laughs> so just go ahead and, you know, continue and take that out. Just make sure, you know, it's clean. So I'm going to keep cleaning the shrimp and I'll get back with you guys to show you the rest of the cleaning process and that's adding the lime as well as the water and letting that um, sit for a couple hours. I would usually do it overnight but yeah I'm not gonna do all that. <laughs> so all right stay tuned. Okay so I went ahead and this is as much shrimp as I'm making. Went ahead and I added some water to the bowl with the shrimp. And I usually like to cut my lime in fourths. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze. I meant the lime, I'm sorry. Squeeze the lime. The juices out. Now I usually like to leave it in there. Usually squeeze it one by one. And this will add flavor to it. As well as kill it in game. So I'm gonna let this soak, let's just say for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. I usually go longer with you know with my meats, but I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. It's only gonna be about you know 30 minutes to about an hour. Okay, so now that the time has gone by, um I went ahead and, you know, rinsed it off with some water, shrimp off with some water, 
And now I'm gonna go ahead and add, add the mustard. Now, this is from memory. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and add it and then mix it. I believe this is what she did and mix it. Now this only has lime. I didn't add any seasoning to it because I don't want it like salty. I just remember her adding the mustard and then like mixing it. So I'm just mixing it and I have my second bowl ready and I'm just going to add it. Add that to the second bowl. Okay. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna mix this as well. Now I only added about a little over half of the Louisiana mix. So I'm just gonna make sure that this is like well coated. I might need to add some more to it. Just wanna make sure everything is like coated well. But this is what Super did. <laughs> so I'm just trying it out. And while I'm doing this, I have my oil, my oil getting hot. So just mix it well, make sure everything is, you know, coated. And I'm gonna go check on my oil. Okay, so I went ahead and added the shrimp into here and I have it on um, medium. And I'm just gonna put it inside and let it fry. Now this is my first time using a mini deep fry or a deep fry at all. So like I said, I have it on medium because I didn't want it to fry too fast. And I'm gonna time how long you know it's in here until it has like a nice color. I do remember she said to, you know, lift it up a little bit, shake it, put it back in there. So just continue until it has like a nice brown color. Okay, so I timed it. So for about 12 minutes, I had it in here and you can see that it has like a nice, you know, golden brown to it. So I already have my bowl and my paper so it can suck up the oil. Let me go ahead and just use this, my tongs. I think some of them is kind of stuck to each other, but it's all good. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my second batch to it. Let me just go ahead and move it over here. Add my second batch and, and repeat. All right, so that concludes the video. So as you can see, this caused a, a golden brown color as I got to fry it, um, which I am, I'm actually pleased with it. And I tried one and it's really good. I'm gonna go ahead and make a sauce for it. And that's usually like the mayonnaise and the ketchup sauce. I don't know if you guys have seen that online, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and try making a dipping sauce for it. Um, so thank you so much for watching and I can't wait till you see my next video.